Hey guys, it's Brooklyn Goddess K and I am here with a goddess energy reading for the month of June. This reading will be the energy from June 8th to around July 8th. Energy is not linear, so anything could change in the course of that that may not correspond in this reading. Um, again, this is a general energy reading, so uh, take what applies. If it doesn't apply, if anything doesn't feel like it registers, just know that this reading is it for you and hopefully the next one is please excuse venus you may hear her in the background she's walking around she's trying to look for a toy she'll figure it out um but before i get into the cards that were pulled for this reading i will say the collective for showing up as the energy of five the number five so for the month of june we will be making those gradual changes to make to take the next steps, excuse me, to take the next steps on our journey. A lot of us are going to be changing how we um, work day to day, how we show up in our partnerships um, day to day. Whenever I think of the number five, it is those changes that we are making to progress to something more. Um, in numerology or in the sense because I relate the numbers to tarot um, four is our stability it's that foundation it's how we know we want to build and five is taking what we've learned about how we want to build and putting it into play piece by piece right Rome wasn't built in one day and neither will your goals or what you're trying to achieve or the changes you're trying to make in your life so five energy is about those gradual changes and whether we have control of them or not is you know beyond us it's how we respond to them and when these changes face right when we face these changes what are we doing to implement the lessons that we've learned beforehand so that um, we aren't repeating the same cycles and if we are repeating the same cycles we aren't beating ourselves up in doing so and we're, we're valuing the lessons that are coming from repeating these cycles okay so um, I channeled some songs for the collective which I will put in the description below I'm not sure if I'm going to do a mini reading or if this will be one tidbit and I'll finish the reading on my YouTube, but I will be also doing, we have a, a solar eclipse new moon on Thursday, June 10th. I will be doing a video for that and that will be exclusively on my Patreon. We will be doing shadow work for that um, theme of the reading for those interested, okay? And it will touch on the monthly and more of what that moon is going to bring up for you um in regards to what changes you will be making for the month of june we also are currently experiencing mercury in retrograde for those that are interested in astrology mercury in retrograde saturn in retrograde and a few other things but uh whenever we're experiencing certain planets in retrograde know that venus please stop know that um uh it's reevaluation retrograde is always about reevaluation and making sure that we are able to implement the lessons that we have learned beforehand and put them actually into practice it doesn't matter if we do all the reading right all the learning it matters about when it's time to put things into action so the collective is showing up as the eight of cups this is beautiful energy for the collective to be showing up in uh, even though in traditional tarot, the Eight of Cups is traditionally a more somber card. It's usually about leaving things behind, moving on, realizing that even if I have all of these things here, right, I have everything that I want. If I'm not happy, it doesn't matter. So the reason why I say that's beautiful energy for the collective to show up in, um, because in the Sansa Muerte tarot deck that I'm using, this Eight of Cups is also a big card of reflection and reevaluating um where we have put our emotions right where we have emotionally invested in and are we seeing anything that we hope are we putting our emotions into certain connections into certain projects into certain jobs into certain friends families or even certain emotions that we are harboring in ourselves like replaying certain disappointments or grievances or well, some of us are mourning right and the energy that we're putting into these emotions are we truly doing it so because we wish to do so or because we're told to do so or because we believe that's what we should be doing um the energy that's also coming up because the shadow energy of this reading is another eight so uh cycles that uh eight is the number of karma so cycles 
uh, uh, continuation, abundance, uh, things coming back again. Like I said, don't get caught up when we're caught in those. Um, we feel like we're repeating certain cycles, right? Is the eight of pentacles, right? So eight of pentacles is, you know, one, it's the card of all work, no play makes a gully boy or whatever the saying is. But it's also knowing that the effort you have put in are enough. And knowing that if you keep just working, 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 working on something, you do not give anything the ability to grow or transform or to just appreciate the efforts of where you've brought yourself to, right? And the clarifying energy for these, and this is why I, I'm saying the things I'm saying, is because we have the Nine of Swords, which means a lot of you will be, for this month, dealing with anxieties, fears, and these fears um, almost shackling you, keeping you help back from um you know progressing forward a lot of you are gaining a lot of information you're finding out a lot of things that you never thought before and it can get overwhelming because you do not have necessarily the proper tools to process the information that you're receiving i'm gonna first say that it's okay a lot of times just because we receive information does not mean that we need to do anything with it sometimes we have to be comfortable with just knowing and knowing that everything else with our knowing is out of our control the nine of swords is also going to um, be about a lot of you need to actually put your thoughts elsewhere so journaling i'm always going to recommend journaling journaling doesn't work for everybody so maybe you need to record voice memos in the morning um maybe you need to seek therapy um get a therapist see if you can find a virtual therapist the nine of swords is the anxiety card for me and in this card it has the book and that's why i'm, I'm suggesting journaling um, a lot of you and what I was going to bring up because another energy that is coming up in the cards. I did a lot of show pulling off camera so the, the, the messages are just shooting out. Um, was temperance. And uh, temperance is always my, it's time to connect more with uh, spirit, with God, with the creator. However you choose to identify. That's what temperance is for me. And with me seeing um, the nine of swords, I'm definitely getting a lot of you need to converse with whoever you believe in more and if you don't believe in anyone you know uh it's always god in itself is a, a a closer connection to our higher self so you need to speak with your higher self more ask it actual questions you ask yourself daily what do you want what can serve me better at this time how can i take my time into achieving my dreams how can i take my time in um you know getting closer to what i believe my happy ending is what does happiness look like for me am i showing up in happiness in my day-to-day -day life now am i actually happy with the choices i have made am i holding on to certain projects because i believe i invested a lot of time in them and i want to see them through for the sake of that i actually want to see this or i feel an obligation or a duty to see it through a lot of times we may feel that we commit to things not because we want to but because we feel we have to and then that ruins the excitement or the passion that should be aligning with the projects that we're doing um you know so you want to make sure that you're being mindful of this when you are looking into your projects when you are um being you know when certain emotions are coming up when you're having those difficult conversations with your partners or your family members or even yourself you want to make sure that you aren't, one, feeling disappointed because things aren't moving at the pace that which you wish. Retrograde is also a signal to slow down. Where are you running to? Where are you rushing to? What you desire will be there tomorrow if it's truly yours. Shit like that. You know, the things in life that are meant to say will not leave you. Things may drift, things may tally, but they do not leave, right? If they're meant to be, they do not leave. They transform. And... Uh, spirit is acting at this time what can you do with those em emotions in regards to transformation in regards to change okay temperance is also my spirit like i said that's my spiritual court card so that is again a signal for you to call on the divine speak to your angels speak to your spirit guide speak to your ancestors speak to your spirit team and you need to tell them what your problems are communicate them clearly okay so that they can one reassure you to your mind that you know they are only the the obstacles that you're facing are only but so big and that you're psyching yourself out a lot and that you need to realize that 
things may not be coming now i i had i'm gonna quote myself to be very cliche um don't be discouraged right when things take time when things are being made tailor made for you right when things are being tailor i'm gonna see if i can find it when things are being tailor made for you they take longer time You've been communicating to the universe what you want, what your happiness looks like. So don't get discouraged now that, you know, things were moving faster and now they've slowed down again. Or it seems like every time you take three steps forward, you have to take two steps back. There's a reason. Reevaluate. Are the efforts that you are going about, the things that you are wanting, rooted in genuinity? Are you going about these things with an honest heart space or are you doing them out of obligation are you doing them out of guilt are you doing them out of a trauma response are you latching on to things because you feel like you have to do them or that you will be any less than if you don't do them okay so i'm gonna leave it at that i'm going to go in a little deeper on my youtube channel i wanted to make this a short reel i'll probably even go deeper on my patreon so i just want to thank you guys for tuning in for the monthly overview i hope that you are awakened with certain questions that you need to have with yourself further confirmations and conversations that you want to have with others and that this reading aligns you to what you're needing at this time okay all of my personal information will be in the description below. If you, uh, I'm currently open for reading, so if you would like a personal reading, all of that information will be below. And uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in, and I will talk to you guys later.